Hey everybody, Joy here. Not a very chipper Joy today. Oh my goodness. Our coach has been over there in the shop all day. Monday, all day, Tuesday. It's 9.18 right now. Wednesday, they were supposed to be here at 9 o'clock to pick it up. Jerry has left to go up to the office to see what's going on. So it's the usual. It's the usual. <sighs> they were fixing one thing and broke another thing. But I'm not going to complain. Um, I have the brand new Joann's here. I wanted to show you. I took lots of pictures of it. It's wonderful. They have the bookstore. <laughs> they have the restaurants. They have a Walmart. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's hard when they take your coach away every day. Then they bring it back at night and it's not fixed yet. So, frustrating, very. And Jerry's not, he's too patient. If you, if you know what I mean? He's just too patient. But he wants to be in charge of everything. He wants to do everything. And he doesn't want me talking to anybody. So he does it in his own very sweet, kind, shy way. <laughs> I'd be up there. I want to talk to the manager. I want to talk to the owner. I want to talk to anybody who will listen. <laughs> That's why he doesn't let me do it. <laughs> so I have had a great time. So many things I want to show you. But we don't get back here till after dark. And we're both so tired from just sitting all day waiting that I haven't been able to do my snippets of the day. So I'm just doing this little bitty snippet this morning for you to tell you we're still here. I went ahead and stopped our mail from coming. We'll probably be here the rest of the week. Hopefully not next week. Uh, there's a man next door to us that was here for nine whole weeks. Ordered a million dollar coach, brand new. Brand new million dollar coach got came here, got here. He couldn't drive it because the radiator was broken and he had to wait nine weeks for a new radiator. So Jerry goes and he talks to all these people and he comes back and he said, Joy, we're really lucky. We have to be thankful. You can't believe what this guy went through. You can't believe what that guy went through. So I have you in the bread cupboard <laughs> and you're leaning up against a box of hot chocolate that's leaning up against the bread. So <laughs> I didn't put up a light. They were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago to get the coach. Still not here. So, um, you know, it's, it's nothing. I know it's nothing in the, in the worldwide issues that are so horrible, so awful. You can't even imagine it. And you don't want to look at it because it's so, so horrible. This is nothing. It's absolutely nothing. And I realize that. So I'm just checking in. I just want to do a short little video. I can't go over 15 minutes, of course, because I'm doing this on my cell phone. And the software on my cell phone, since it's free, they'll only let me go up to so many minutes. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it's free. I think I'm paying like $14 a month for it or something. I don't know. You forget. You know, so many things happen on your cell phone. You have a hard time keeping up. But what the main deal is with our RV is we came in with problem number one. They didn't know how to fix it, argued, complained. So Jerry called the company himself that made the motor or the engine or the chassis or something and talked to him. And they said, oh, by the way, there's been three recalls on your coach. So we contacted the office and said, hey, we heard there's three recalls. Oh, really? We'll have to check on that. So this is what we're going through right now is the three recalls, which are recalled for whatever reason. We don't even know what it is. They are very, very nice up there. There's this one girl named Stacy and she's lovely. And they have this great big room next to the uh, customer waiting room. There's this huge room with all kinds of tables and chairs in it. Tables are just lined up and chairs. Tables lined up and chairs. You know how classrooms are in these big companies. And the girl told me, Stacy told me, she said, don't you sew? I said, oh yes, got a brand new quilt that I want to start cutting out and making. And she said, why don't you bring it up here? I said, well, I can't bring it up here. <laughs> I drive these people crazy. Uh-oh, I think somebody's coming to get my coach. Maybe not. He's just wandering around. So um, she said, you can come up here and work on those tables. We're not having classes all week. So I would love to do that, but where would that leave my husband? You know, so. I could go hang out at Joann's all day. I could go hang out at um, Fabric Fanatics all day. I could hang out at the bookstore all day. 
but nothing I do, um, you know, is anything. I'm looking because there's two of the men that work here walking around. So, anyway, let me see how many minutes I'm up to. Five minutes? Oh, my goodness. I wish I could show you what I bought, but I can't. What we do is we take everything out of here when they're going to work. And so, I took all the stuff I bought out of here. And it's the stuff that I want to show you because I'm so excited about it. And um, pictures I took to show you. Um, if I can show you some pictures, I'll try to put them in this video. Listen, y'all. There is this new Joanne here. I told you about it. There they go, walking by again. Sorry, guys. Um, there's this new Joanne here. It's not, they ought to call it Super Joanne is what they ought to name it. Oh, you walk in the door and it's like, and another lady told me she did the same thing. You walk in the front door and you, oh, and you go like this. It's, <laughs> there was another lady there and I started talking to her and she, I said, oh my gosh, this store. She said, I walked in the front door and I just gasped. And I said, so did I. <laughs> it's amazing. The most amazing thing about it is it is super, super, super lit up. Like new buildings are sometimes. You know, the older they get, this light burns out. That I remember Hancock's. More than half the lights were burned out at the Hancock's. It's no wonder they went out of business. That was the darkest, dreariest place. But super bright. Everybody was so friendly, so friendly. And two ladies asked me about my YouTube channel. One lady that worked there said she wanted to learn how to do crafts. And I'm like, how can you work at a store like this and not already know how to do crafts? I told him, I said, if I lived in this town, I said, I know I'm an old lady, a granny, but I said, if I lived here, I would come apply for a job at this store. She said, oh, you don't want to do that because you never get any money in your paycheck. <laughs> But it's beautiful. If y'all are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, or you come through Louisville, it's just right here next to Dallas, you know. Denton, Dallas, Fort Worth, any of those towns around here, come to this Joanne. I promise you, it's not like, one lady said, oh, I never go to Joanne, they never have any fabric. They have fabric. They have fabric, lots of fabric. So, Oh, I was just so, so surprised. And, like, and the, oh my goodness, the tables where they cut, they're just long, 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 two rows of long, long, long tables. I have a picture, I'll show you. Although it's not a good picture. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't start to get the whole store with my cell phone. Plus there are people there, you know, that I don't want you taking their picture. But two long sets of table, super clean, brand new white, and several ladies there was like four ladies back there that could cut for you oh and the pattern section all brand new cabinets where the patterns are new tables new chairs oh it is just wonderful and, and everything is labeled the sections are labeled and then the sections in the sections are like the christmas it could be a whole store just on christmas stuff I just was amazed. I, I wish I could go back there, but Jerry won't let me drive. I don't know. I guess he thinks I'm too old to drive in Dallas. I don't know what the problem is. Or maybe he thinks I'll drive somewhere and I won't come back. I said yesterday, let me drive. Let me drive. You can sit over here and look stuff up about drones. He wants a drone. He said, no, no, no. You're not driving. So I don't know what that's about. But I'll put several pictures of Joanne in here. And uh, hopefully it shows the magnificence of it. I asked permission, by the way. I asked permission from the girls there. I said, I have a YouTube channel. I said, is it okay if I take pictures and I show them on my channel? And she said, oh, yes, 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 please do. Show it, show it, show it. <laughs> so very nice, very nice. I just, 
I wish Jerry liked bookstores. He doesn't like bookstores. He doesn't look at books. He doesn't read. He just does his computer all the time. He's looking up for drones. I said, I bet they've got books on drones in here. Oh, I'll just look it up on my computer. So I always feel bad that what he's doing, you know, while I'm bouncing around from here to here to here all over the place in the store, <laughs> I go from the sewing books to the game books to the every politician that ever lived wrote a book, every movie star that ever lived wrote a book, everybody that ever cooked wrote a book, and I'm just bouncing from here to here and there to there and having so much fun and walk down to Hobby Lobby and shop there for a while and walk back to the books. He just sits, he just sits at one table and I feel so bad. I feel like I'm making him, you know, be, I feel like because of me, he's tethered to a chair in a bookstore. <laughs> I try to get him to move. Oh, here comes someone to get the coach. I really have to go. Love y'all. Bye for now.